So the mailbox is open. Well, I do think everything that we don't see, I think people should look at. That we pass by so many things that it's like this building right here. It's the oldest building in Seattle, and it's actually a, a, the oldest bar established in 1890. And I wish they sold Havana cigars. Really? Yeah. I've been to Cuba a couple times, and it's amazing. Yeah. Thanks for the interview. Oh, Thanks no for the interview the other day too. That was fascinating. Walk this way. Okay. So. Tell me what you, what's going on with you today. I want to document the effect of COVID-19 okay. on the city. And uh, you're documenting all sorts of different history. This is my whole thing. Like that car, it's worth money. Really? But then yet, we have all these people on the street. That are broke. That, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then you try to, and you see this man right here looking for food. Oh. Yeah. You know, where's the irony in that? I agree. Yeah. And people say that, you know, what are we supposed to do about it? Well, I think we should be conscious about it. And today you were at a event where they were handing out food to the homeless. No, a friend of mine, she and I did that. Oh, good. Yeah, it comes out of my pocket, uh, and I do it usually on Sundays. Oh, nice and, of you. Uh, and is it in an Occidental Square? Um, actually, today we put it in a wagon, and it went all over the place. Oh, nice. It was really cool. Yeah. Uh, you know, we usually do it right in the parking lot. At, uh, uh, the Union Gospel Mission. That's where we usually hang out and pass out food. But there's another organization called um, Recover, not Recovery Starts with our Reach or something. I forget what it is. But um, that's amazing. Actually, you should document uh, these people passing out food over here. Okay, let's go walk up and yeah, see. They're really cool. Oh, good. They're really cool. People. I didn't even know they were doing it. Yeah, they do it every every Sunday at 4:30. At 4:30. Yes. I wonder why 4:30. Uh, I guess because everything's shutting down. Cause we usually do it around one, and so the fact that they do it at four thirty and it's usually hot food and it's really good and it's usually vegan. Wow! So, so. And where are they? We're walking. We're walking towards it. Okay. Thank you. Tell me about what you're doing. I'm uh, doing a documentary on uh, Seattle during COVID-19. Uh -huh. And I'm also doing a documentary on drugs. You're gonna do and a how, documentary how drugs on kill and affect the mind and turn people into zombies. Okay. But right now it's COVID-19. And this is Occidental Square. Right. Call 911. 911. It's interesting how all this plays out. Hey! Get I understand. Get and what do you mean it's interesting how it plays out? You know, um, it's like this vicious circle. You know, it's not like it's the first time that this happened. You know, it's just like, how many people are actually paying attention? Nobody, nobody's yeah. paying attention. You see, you should go- Nobody up. cares, nobody's looking. I think they only care enough to where they can pat this off on the back. And that's, some people will say, I bought a coffee for a homeless person. I gave a homeless person a dollar. Yeah, big deal. Yeah. Yeah. People are still dying. Yep. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's just horribly sad. You hear the flying? It's nice that you you go everywhere and you do everything. Yeah. You film everything. Yeah. It's nice. How we got one? You playing your oh. drums today? Those are just drums. Oh, how wonderful! Wow. That's really cool. And so he plays the drums. Wow. I'm glad they're here. Are they here every Sunday? Wow. Hi guys, thank you for doing what you're doing. Absolutely, I think not everyone here is super comfortable being filmed though necessarily. Okay, you thank you. Hey! He's the only one that's not comfortable. Hmm? Everybody, I know. Everybody's pretty comfortable except for him. Yeah. That's okay. But, you know, everybody is doing something. Yeah. Which is cool. Yeah, it's very nice. And so how did you find out about this? Well, I've known him for a while, so. Oh, you've known him for a while? Yeah. Everybody knows everybody on the streets. Yeah. Oh. yeah. So, it is what it is. Okay. And do you ever participate in this giveaway? <laughs> yeah. You do participate? Yeah. Oh, okay. And they always do it on Sunday at 4.30? It's at 4.30, all the time. Oh, okay. And what days do you do your food handout? It all depends, you know. It just, I've done it three times this week. Wow. And so, uh, yeah. Nice. And there's some people, like there's Kevin, who's on the guy in the white over there, Alejandro. So you get to know everybody, so it's pretty interesting. Nice. Yeah. Well, you're out here, you're looking at it, you're taking pictures of it, and you're documenting it. Right. Yeah. And are you doing it for a book, or are you doing it for a film? No, I just do it just to keep myself conscious. Okay. And since I do hair, I show people. And you show them when they're doing their hair? Yep. And, and now, because of COVID-19, you can't operate your hair salon. Right, but at the same time, too, I um, will, um, they text me and they want to know what's going on because they know I'm on the streets. And I just send them photos of what I've taken. And it's pretty cool, pretty work. It works out pretty cool. Thank you for being on my show. Yeah. And thanks for uh, letting me use your name on yeah. my shows. Yeah, it's cool. To highlight what's going on. Perfect. I appreciate that. No worries. Yeah. That's cool.